Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. Brooks, let me say hello. Hello. Brought everybody another food slash drink review. People have been digging these reviews on our YouTube channel or wherever you enjoy the Frugal Snobs content. Please make sure if you haven't done so already to subscribe, like, share, post. Do your part, folks. It helps us out. If you'd like to support us, you can go to support.frugalsnobs.com and support us for as little as 99 cents per month. If you also like what you see in here, please check out the Frugal Snobs podcast if you haven't done so already. Everything you need to know is at frugalsnobs.com. Now, with the cheap plugs out of the way, um, I don't typically review coffee, folks. We have reviewed a couple of specialty coffees in the past, but we thought we'd take an opportunity to review a coffee that we picked up at a local Lytles, Lytles, depending on your pronunciation, grocery store in our Northern Virginia area. Fair? Fair. All right. So, folks, actually, we picked up this particular coffee. It is gold coffee imported from Germany. And if you hear a crumpling sound, this is Christina working with the packaging here. Um... So this coffee was actually on a massive sale for us, so we had to pick some up. Uh, we picked up 17.6 ounces, that is one standard brick in bag, for approximately $3 US. Is that yes. fair? So it's a very good deal, folks. You're getting over a pound of coffee, vacuum sealed to seal in freshness and flavor, for under $4. It's a pretty good deal, everybody. So we're looking at $3, and again, it's an import from Germany. And keep in mind, the normal coffee bag, mm -hmm. 12 ounces. That is true. And again, you don't have that same vacuum sealed quality that we saw here. So we'll get into the packaging first, then we'll talk about the UTZ or UTS certification, what that means, and then we'll go through the actual review and I'll wrap up with the snob rating. Is that fair? Fair. All right. So in terms of packaging, you will be greeted with a very bright <laughs> bag, I believe a gold colored bag for the gold coffee. Yes. Once you open up the bag, this is actually sealed inside of a freshness packaging uh, mechanism, like a, a foil bag brick which you can you see with, with standard brick coffee as well. But again, it's packed in there, folks. It is a brick of coffee. And as soon as you cut open that brick, you do hear the vacuum seal release, that sort of thing. So we're storing this, by the way, folks, in jars, a large quart mason jar and a pint mason jar. And again, these are not used jars. These are purchased from a store, ball mason jars, basically, with sealable lids with cap. Fair? Yes. So we were able to fill up one quart jar and one pint jar with this standard brick size of 17.6 ounces. We're still getting it for freshness. Is that fair? Fair. All right. So, Christine, let's go ahead and go through some of the particulars of the coffee. I, again, folks, a review of coffee has to be finessed a little bit. So we're going to go through some of the uniqueness here. So this coffee is UTZ or UTS certified, which basically means that it is it's, it's sustainable. It, yes, it is basically sustainable. It is produced with sustainable farming in mind. Thank you for that. And it so, also helps their families. Yes, exactly. See, Gives them better growing uh, resources, training, teaching, whatever you want to call it. Hold on. Hold on, Speedy. See, this is why I bring Christina with me for these types of reviews. Everybody. And no, I have not had any coffee. Oh, I have. We're about to get to that. So, But like she said, folks, again, she fills in for me when I'm looking for words. And that's very rare, but when I do, uh, basically, as she said, UTZ certified basically means that the coffee, as 100% Arabica, picked, farmed, etc., is farmed sustainably, basically, as she said, to help out families, the environment, uh, better growing mechanisms, etc. So, again, there's a lot of goodness, so to speak, that goes into a UTZ or UTS certified product. Fair? And it's posted right in the lower left-hand corner of the bag, too. Yes. And by the way, UTZ or UTS certification, I believe, came from Amsterdam, Netherlands. Yes. And I also believe that it was initiated in the early 2000s and... O2. O2. And I believe it's also... Uh, a certification for both cocoa and coffee production. Yes. Correct? Okay. So again, folks, you can look up all of that good stuff on your own, because that's not why we're here, but I wanted to point that out. Let's go through the preparation instructions, then we'll go through my flavor profile and wrap with snob rating. All right. For optimal taste, according to the coffee brewer, <laughs> always start with a clean coffee maker. Use one heaped tablespoon of coffee for each six ounces of fresh cold water. Adjust measurements to your taste. Brew and serve immediately. Enjoy. Okay. So, as you can see, folks, I do not enjoy a six-ounce serving. I'm actually enjoying this out of a glass, 14-ounce, roughly, uh, coffee cup. So, again, adjust your measurements accordingly. So, it would be two and a third, basically, for every six-ounce serving. It would be two and a third scoops. Now, in our case, for a French press production uh, here in preparation method, we used three heaping scoops. Is that okay to say? Yes. Okay, so use three heaping scoops. Again, Christina brewed this for me, folks. Again, that's why she's here to fill in all the details. I'm just here for the finesse. <laughs> so I actually did enjoy this coffee. Um, 
has a very base taste to it. It is a medium roast, uh, very low acidity. It does grow on you. So those first few sips are different. It is a European style coffee, folks. So it does taste different than what you're going to get off the shelf in the United States. Um, again, Folgers, Maxwell House, things like that. You're not going to taste the same flavor profile here. Um, it does grow on you, though. It's a nice wake-me-up coffee. I actually enjoy it. Um, I will be enjoying it, I think, consistently until I finish off uh, the entire bag. I don't want to blend it with other coffees or get off of a routine here. I want to enjoy it for what it is consistently so that I can make sure that I enjoy it. Um, in terms of the, the flavor, again, like I said, very basey, not a lot of acidity. And again, European style coffee will taste different, everyone. I know everybody thinks that it will be the same. Not so. Um, Christina pointed out soil is different before we hit the record button here. She pointed out soil is different. Farming methods are different on the review. So uh, that is true. So Check it out. Um, it's a pretty good deal, folks. If you could, if you have a Lidl's or Lidl's in your area, depending on pronunciation, check it out if you can get it. Again, 17.6 ounce package for three dollars in our area. Now, in terms of picking up this coffee, I picked up over four and a half pounds of this coffee. Actually, I only intended on picking up two packages, um, but saw the sizing and the quality of it. Christina actually was kind enough to pick up two additional packages. But um, again. Four and a half pounds of this stuff I had to drink, folks. So hopefully I'll continue to enjoy it and it won't become stale to my palate. In terms of a snob rating, I'd give it probably, I'd say a 3.75 to 4 star. We'll go with 4 star snob rating. It's not bad. If you want to get into European style coffee, folks, it is different. And it's a nice way to introduce you to it with a medium level. And affordability. Food. Yes, it's very affordable, folks. Um, again, I just want to point out before we wrap up here, Lidl's, Lidl's. Uh, is not a sponsor of the Frugal Snobs or Frugal Snobs podcast. So we are not being paid to promote this product or to review it. We are honest. Yes. It's not a bad product, folks. Check it out or any other European-style coffees, but it's a nice introduction to the palate if you're not familiar with European-style coffee. We got to wrap up here? Yes. All right, folks. We hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, do your part. Please make sure you subscribe and do all of the wonderful things that you would do. Comment, like, share, post. And also make sure you check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Everything you know at FrugalSnobs.com. You can support us at support.frugalsnobs.com. Until we speak again, folks, be well, never pay retail, take care of yourself and each other.